Well guys, it's another exciting day. Um, I've got another envelope from Pato of decals that have arrived. And uh, yeah, man, I just, it's just so exciting. You know, sometimes the little things in life are exciting. But um, yeah, just um, just really excited to, to get decals that I order. Um, especially through this, um, through the coronavirus, uh, as I've said, you know, that it's impacted, um, international flights and, uh, and these things, you know, get delayed, uh, because there's less international flights. So it takes longer for them to arrive, but, um, but yeah, so, uh, so let's open them up and I'll show you guys what I've ordered, um, and uh, you know a few custom requests, a few decals that I want, and um, and yeah, so uh, so let's open this up. Uh, just excited! Can't wait to see what these things look like. Be reminded of what I ordered because <laughs> it does take so while, take a while. So, uh, so yeah. I'm trying not to make a mess. I tell you what, I'm just gonna move this thing out of the way. I can get this water out of the way. Last thing I want to do is touch the decals to the water. And I clean this off one of these days. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kind of do this one at a time here. Check this out. This is... I'm trying to remember exactly. I think it was. The very first custom I did was a 2010 number 17 purple crown royal. Back in 2010, you know, DeWalt had moved on. Um, at least temporarily left NASCAR uh, after sponsoring Ken Seth for close to 10 years, maybe 11 years. And, uh, and so this is a 2010 um, Matt Kenseth Crown Royal set. And you, get, you can see I got one, two, three, uh, three of them. Let me get a pen here. And I've made this many times, many times. This is a really really fun uh, car because it's a it's the car of tomorrow and um, what I've done with it in the past various um, special um, paint that I've used um, sometimes I've used a silver I've made this as a silver car um, but I've got a request for for one of these and so um, oh man those are always exciting to make um, that'll be fun that'll be a lot of fun I typically use the let me show you I typically use this it's a testers purplicious and it's got that shiny purple. Yeah, you can't tell there. But yeah, the cap's pretty much what it is. Nice shiny purple that matches really nice with what Matt drove. And it's just a just a beautiful car. So, yep, that'll be awesome. Look forward to making one of those. And then... Terry, if you're watching that, I I, uh, I finally got uh, uh, some decals for you. This is a Ryan Blaney uh, Pertec car, and you can see it's got uh, military police on the banner here. And I think he drove this 
Well, this is his Xfin. I think it's Xfinity car. Yeah, this is his Xfinity car. I can't remember what year he drove this in, but it's either this year, or last year, maybe 2018, uh, last couple years. But uh, yeah, this will be a really rare Ryan Blaney car that I'll uh, that I'll make. I don't know what year it is, so I'll have to I'll have to look that up and and then jot that down. I think it's blue. I think it's a blue car with this yellow. So I order it with the blue uh, removed, and um, and then we'll uh, paint the car blue, and then we'll apply the decals, the red and yellow decals. This will be fun. I think this goes across the nose. I'm not sure. This big yellow area here, and on a Mustang, that's one of the worst fronts to work with because it's got different ridges on the front of the car. Um, so that'll be a difficult die cast to make. To have it turn out really nice. All right, and then I had a request for a number 31 Wellen car. And this is a Ryan Newman, and um, it's got a Staff Sergeant Ramsire Ramsire on the on the um, uh, windshield there. I think this is white might be yellow I can't remember what color I had removed um, but um, but yeah it's all you know it's always a little bit of a, a challenge uh, to pick which color to remove if it's a if it's a two colored car um, but uh, but yeah it's a Chevy yeah custom request for that one looks pretty good Oh yeah. So I had a request also for a Martin Truex number 78 uh, Bass Pro Shops. And uh, I think this is what he drove in the, is it the 2018 or 2019 Homestead race? Um, maybe 2018. Uh, his last year with the 78 car. And the very last race for Furniture Row Racing, I believe. And uh, so this, I think this is like a matte black. So I'll um, I'll have to make the car, um, and uh, you know make it black, add all the decals, put some sealer on it, and then use the tester's uh, dull coat on it. But um, yeah, it's always fun doing these um, monster playoff cars because um, this green it's just a little weird, right? You know, you've got your general car. This green doesn't really match much, especially unless it's a monster energy car. But what I do, I got it right here, is I use this uh, lime green Sharpie paint pen. And this lime green, well, it, it's, a, it's dark there, but once you get, the, get it shaken up and you get the paint flowing, it matches almost perfectly with this green and so I like to use this for the um, for the lower front uh, valence on the front bumper and for the spoiler and um, as opposed to using these decals it, the spoiler decals I've never had any success with using those things because they it, it kinda covers the front and it covers the back but it doesn't cover the sides and the top and I just I'd rather just paint it I just rather paint it paint it it looks so much better um, than than using this uh, the decals. So that's again my experience. Um, you know, the decals do offer a nice straight line where it intersects with the rest of the car. But I, yeah, I mean, I I just I sacrifice that by using the paint pen in order to get a nice uh, full coverage of the spoiler instead of using the decals. So, anyways, 2018 Martin Truex. Number 78. What the heck? It's kind of funny. I don't necessarily remember ordering this, but this is a, a Kras, Kaz Grala, number 61, uh, from the Xfinity series. Uh, kind of a um, you know a guy that doesn't race all the time, and so uh, so this is uh, again a special request. Um, I think it's a white car. 
nets. That's interesting. I just never noticed it. It's not N-E-T-T-S. It's got three T's in it. So, um, yeah, whatever. Um, but that shouldn't be too difficult uh, making it. I think if it's a white background, um, it should go on pretty well. This red on the top might be interesting because you've got to you've got to you've got to line it up with the uh, the roof decal. But this front and back should be pretty easy. That should be pretty easy. That should be pretty easy. Um, the sides, but yeah, laying this in place, I may pre-paint it red. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it. If I, it, I'll have to line it up and see if I have enough decal to cover it. If if I think I don't, then I'll pre-paint it red. And um, but actually, as I'm looking at this, it looks like it transitions from a lighter red to a darker red back here. And if that's the case, I, I don't think I'll pre, pre paint it. Yeah, I think it is because this looks lighter here than it does back here. And I just don't want to throw in like a third shade of red. Yeah. I, I, I won't mess with that. It'll it'll just go on. And if there's a little bit of white that shows up um, around the sides of this stuff, then so be it. You know, sometimes you, you're trying to make the car look better and you actually make it look worse and so you just kind of weigh those weigh the the pros and cons of it and you realize you know what it, maybe it's just best to just throw the decals on the car and and live with the results as opposed to trying to throw some paint on the back and and make it look better yeah i definitely see that now so i don't know if that's a 2018 2019 or what but yeah another xfinity car now this is something I'm very excited to to have. Check this out. This is a 2020 Matt Kenseth McDonald's car. Now, I'm not sure if Lionel's going to actually make this car or not. Uh, I, see, I see it for sale as like a pre-order. But at the end of the day, I'm going to make this car, and I'm, obviously I'm going to get it out before Lionel does. It's usually not too hard. Um, but it's going to have, you know, it's it's going to have the detail that the Lionel car may not have. So, you know, some of these sponsors here, NASCAR Heat, and, um, yeah. Cool. Obviously, I had the red removed. And, okay, so I'll be honest. You know, if if Lionel does come out and make this car, then I've got, you know, obviously there's no reason for me to make it because you can get it for 8 or $9. Um, it's not a whole lot of value in me making, making the red car. But I may do some fun stuff. Like, since I'm a black and gold guy, I may make, I may paint the car black and throw the decals over it so you have a black and yellow and white car um, one of the one of the colors I have is a metallic black and that's really it, I, I've made I haven't made too many cars with it but it's it's just that it's a metallic black it looks really sharp and um, I could easily make that and that would just be and you know, just be a, you know a one-of-a-kind car uh, that somebody might like to have to add to their collection. I could also do, you know, typically what I'll do is also make a silver car. Um, I could make a gold car. Um, but w since the decals are, bl are are black, since the decals are white here, um, if I do something light colored like a silver, it's not going to stand out so much. But if I did the black, or if I did something crazy like this burgundy, red burgundy metallic. I'm not sure how that would look good. Um, but you know, I'm right now. I'm just I'm gonna make a um, probably a couple red ones. Um, you know, obviously one for my collection and probably one to sell it. And then if indeed Lionel goes out and does make it, then um, my, my first thought is to do a black metallic one, and then I'll have one decal set left over um, 
for uh, for some other color and um, and throw it out there. So yeah, I'm excited to make that. That's that'll be my first 2020 Matt Kenseth car, and I may have another one in here. Oh, I see what I have. Yeah, so this is another Ryan Blaney Pertech. No, I'm sorry. This is a this is a Brad Keselowski. But I think, and and this is for you, Terry. I think I'm going to use these decals to make uh, a number twelve Ryan Blaney Pertech car, because I think that'll be weird though. Because look at the look at the banner. It does say Xfinity Keselowski. And I don't think I have the Blaney. Let me see. I don't think it says that on this one. No, it just says Blaney on the back end. So that'll be interesting. I'll have to figure out what to do with this banner. Um, if I can make a, a, a Blaney on this and use a Blaney banner on the back and obviously use a Blaney name signature on the on the uh, the hood there roof um, yeah use per tech I, I don't even know what per tech is but uh, um, at that request for those so those will come in and then the last one I have check this out this is another Matt Kenseth 2020 car. And this is the one that he drove with Private First Class Bosfeld uh, on, the, uh, on the windshield banner, uh, the McDelivery car. I think this might have been done in the um, Coke 600, maybe? Or maybe a memorial race of some sort. Uh, typically, that's like the Coke 600, but I'll have to double check and make sure. But yeah, this is his McDelivery, so it's a little bit different from the McDonald's car. It's got the smaller M with the word McDelivery, and then you got the big M for the McDonald's car. Um, McDelivery on the side. And same thing, so um, I almost guarantee they're not going to have PFC, or I'm sorry, if Lionel makes this car, the McDelivery car, not the McDonald's, but the McDelivery car, I doubt they're going to have this banner of of the uh, PFC Bosfeld on it. It would have some type of you know um, standard Cup Series uh, banner on it because uh, I think he drove the McDelivery car in another race. But you've got the um, uh, you've got the special NASCAR Salutes logo that's on there. Um, yeah, so I think pretty much you know I'll be able to make this with red and. Um, and it'll be, uh, it, it, no matter what Lionel releases, it's not going to look like this. So, but, you know, if if by chance that does happen, I can always then revert to doing, like I said, a black one with the metallic black. That would be cool. Excited to have, uh, you know, I've got, I've got, uh, I've got yeah, obviously a couple of these for me and my collection and, uh, and other Kenseth collectors. And then I've got some for uh, um, for a couple other people that have requested decals, or not requested decals, but requested uh, customs from me, so I can um, I can add those to my uh, to my um, uh, to do list and um, and be able to get after those. Um, so yeah, so excited to have those. I'll uh, I'll cut them up and and label them appropriately. Uh, with uh, with what what year it is and and uh, what base color I'll have, um, I just love doing these Crown Royal cars. They are a lot of fun. Um, they're a little time consuming because they're a COT. Um, another thing, you know, and I'll wrap up this video. This this is one of the dumbest grills or at least decals. The grill on the car itself is fine. But the grills are dumb because they're like straight flat across. See that? Um, but that's not how they actually were on the car. So what I do is I will cut 
uh, this headlight off. I'll cut these headlights off like this because when you lay it on the car, it looks really dumb across there because it's straight across when these headlights are actually angled back. So I'll cut these headlights off and then I'll kind of angle them uh, when I uh, put it put it all together. Um, I don't know why, you know, I don't say Pato because I don't think Pato does the graphics design for these things. He he gets the the files and then um, and then makes them for sale, but. At the end of the day, this needs to have more of a of a of an angle to it, and um, yeah, it's not a perfect match. I mean, if you if you take this decal set and you line it up next to Matt Kenseth's Crown Royal 2010 Crown Royal car, it's not a perfect set, but the um, uh, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. So, yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be fun making that. Well, guys, that's another unboxing or unpackaging of Pato's decals that I got in the mail. And um, gives you a little preview as to the cars that you'll be seeing uh, that, uh, that I'll be producing, uh, at least the new ones. I do have another order from Pato that has yet to come in yet uh, that I expect um, really... Uh, I don't say any day now, but real soon. Uh, John, if you if you watch my videos, um, that's the the cars I'm expecting for you, or the decals I'm expecting for you. I know you requested these cars, so um, yeah. I, I'll just I'll just say this again. I mentioned this a little bit in my video the other day, but um, I have a lot of people asking for customs, and I try to get after them in the order that I receive them. Uh, you know, some people ask for, you know, 20, 24, 26 cars. I mean, a lot of cars, all different cars. And um, and then I have some people that just ask for one single car. And so um, I try to balance it out, like I said, you know, by, you know, people that um, request cars from me. Um, I have to be honest, it's usually six to eight months before I can get a car done that I get asked to do. Um, yeah, I'm a little slow, um, meticulous, but I also have a lot of people uh, that have asked me for customs. So I just ask for your patience. Um, I know that, uh, you know, some people want cars, you know, very quickly. I know when I used to request people make cars for me and it would take months and months and I'd be like, okay, hey, what's going on here? Um, but Obviously, I don't ask for any money up front. Um, you can pay me when I deliver the cars. Um, that's the, kind of the way I operate. But, um, but yeah, if you could just have a little patience with me, I appreciate it. And, um, and I, I'll definitely get to the cars that I've promised uh, to make for you guys. And um, um, But, yeah, I've got a lot of cars to make. Uh, I don't want to rush through it. Uh, but I do want to recognize that... Um, uh, that that I do have a lot of cars um, to make for you guys, and uh, and I try to get to them in the order that I receive them. So, thanks for your patience and thanks for your interest in in uh, in, in watching uh, my videos. And uh, hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, God bless. Take care.